appreciate you stopping by my shop. Uh, this video is going to be around, regarding a new camera and camera mounts uh, that I created. The, you can see here there's a camera mount there in the uh, screen and I'm filming on both of them right now. I, I'm going to try doing picture in picture. Uh, I don't know how to do it. We'll see if we can get through it. So you have to bear with me. But the mount you see here is a is a 3M uh, monitor uh, stand. And I sell for a little over $100, $130 or something like that. And I picked it up for $40 bucks from a guy that sells a lot of stuff here locally. Brand new in the box. So I picked it up with the idea that I could maybe use it to mount a camera. And we'll show the movement of it afterwards. Well, it comes... It comes with this star piece that would uh, go ahead and screw to a back of a monitor. And then secondly, it also has this piece here, which would be for clamping onto a desktop or something. Well, I really wanted something simple um, to move this mount around. And so I uh, initially decided to bend up a piece of sheet metal, a sleeve, and basically just like this piece here, this it would slide into this sleeve. It's on the, uh, the mount right now that's bolted to the side of my welding table. You can see it over here, the L brackets bolted. So I did a little measuring and uh, I created the sleeve and uh, it worked out well. And uh, I'll show you where it mounts back uh, at the 10 E. Well, after doing that, I said, well, I need multiples of these. So the other day, I said, okay, well, um, I'm going to learn how to use fusion sheet metal and draw it in sheet metal. So I went in, sat down at the computer, turned on fusion, and... Uh, said, geez, I could 3D print this faster than screwing around learning how to draw it in sheet metal. So, there we go. Went ahead and drew it in, in uh, Fusion and printed it in uh, PLA. About a five hour print. So, I've printed six of these now. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, hit the button and go. If anybody knows what to do with the raft, the bridging that comes out of here, which is pretty nice material, let me know. I'd like to use it for something. Um, uh, anyway, off subject there. So anyway, I printed uh, six of these. Well, I thought about it and I says, I got to learn how to draw fusion sheet metal. So I went back at it and I managed to draw it. And this is the, uh, the flat pattern once after you draw it in fusion. Uh, and, then it, and it gives you your center line of bends and it shows you the, the bends that will occur. And so subsequently, there it is. Bent another one up using the drawing. Still had some issues with my bends and part of it is knowing how to use the bender correctly and whether I have the right setups and also the sequence of bends. But uh, this one, as you can see, it's got spot welds there. And I ended up spot welding the 30 thousandths sheet metal to quarter inch plate. So it, uh, this one actually just sits right here on my table and uh, I, that way I can move it, I can move it wherever I need to move it on the table. And uh, it goes into the threaded holes. It fights the threads, of course, if they're dirty. But it sets down real simple. I did a little experiment before I tried uh, spot welding that. And, and, it, and it worked well. It's quite, quite strong. You know, just, let's see. I mean, there, there, I finally broke the weld right there. So, or actually I pulled it right through the piece of metal. So, with all that said, 
Um, I'll give you a little more of a view of the camera mount that's over here. Um, what I ended up doing is uh, the piece the piece that bolted to the back of here, which is the gimbal on the uh, monitor mount, I took that off and then I adapted the piece that attaches to here to a camera mount that came off of this, it's called a unipod. Um, never really used it, you know, it's got the extendable legs and stuff. Never used it, so I sacrificed the uh, head off of this. And uh, I'll move the camera around and we'll take a peek at that. Then we'll go for a little tour around the shop and I'll show you all the locations where I have mounted the slides. Um, just for the, the giggles of it, um, let's see. We put, the, we put that guy right there. The, it's pretty cool. These, uh, it's just a little clip and the mounts come right off. Comes off that easy. This arm does the same thing. This arm slides up and down. Really, really simple. I'm going to shut this camera off. Bear with me for a minute. Typically, I don't plan on using the bolt mount here to the side of the bench, but the bench is drilled and tapped all the way around and all the way on top, six inch centers. So it does give me the opportunity to mount the uh, camera anywhere I want. And it slides into the holster like that. And uh, it can swivel. Of course, the arm, the arm swivels. Arm goes up and down in height. So it, it, uh, it'll be a nice addition on the welding table where I can move the camera around wherever I want. All right, we'll, uh, we'll go for a little walk see here. Let's see, first off, just to show you the, the gimbal setup on the camera. So the ball allows me to adjust the head of the camera up and down, and then the uh, this mechanism here is a quick release, which threads into the uh, the uh, camera, so it works works really really nice. So, take a walk over to the machine room. I've added a sleeve here, which is adjacent to my mill. I've added a sleeve there, which is the other side of my mill. Going to go crazy here, guys. Come down to the closing lathe, and there's another sleeve right there. And we swing over by the drill press, and then there's another sleeve back there, which will work for filming here at the uh, surface plate and the, and the drill press. And then coming down to the closing. No, I haven't mounted it yet. It sits right down there. There's uh, there's four holes in the wood where it was. I still got to remount the metal one there that I made. And then I'm working on doing a mount back here for this uh, surface plate. So all in all, it's uh, it's a nice uh, addition, and will hopefully improve my ability to film. Oh, I forgot one. There's one right over here. There's my old my son Tim. But uh, right there, added another one for working at this table here. I think I got a couple of clips of screwing around with it, and you can see it. Uh, but uh, I think this will work out really well, and uh, it's really a, really a nice unit. I just built this guy out of scrap, nothing, uh, nothing special, but uh, it works well. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by the shop. I hope you enjoyed the uh, quick little video about uh, my uh, modifications for camera mounts. Oh, and then hang on, let's see. Let me uh, reset the uh, camera and I'll show you my other new camera that we're filming with right now. So this is the uh, new camera that I got. It's new old. <laughs> it's a... Uh, 
Sony, uh, it's got 120 uh, gigabytes in it, uh, 1080. It's a 12 year old camera, 4 megapixels. Picked it up the other day for 30 bucks. Um, came with two batteries and uh, it's, it's a nice camera. I'm, I'm really happy with it, especially for $30. Uh, just open up the port here and uh, you, can, you can plug in your cords. Um, the uh, lens cap opens up automatically when you uh, turn on the unit and uh, so let's see you just uh, just filmed with it we'll see how it uh, how it looks again guys thanks for stopping by the shop I hope you uh, have a uh, happy holidays uh, with uh, Christmas just a few days away take care Well, this video is about my new camera mount, um, but this is not using my new camera mount. This is my newer, newer camera to me. Uh, you've seen it somewhere in this video, or I'll show it to you. Um, but I do have it on a tripod at the end of my lathe. Uh, it'll be interesting to how noisy it is because it is right over the uh, motor generator. Need to uh, turn this down to about 400 thousandths round so I can use it in my uh, welding table, the new camera mount that I'm making.